everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we have another miraculous ladybug doll. So here I have some of my ladybug dolls. This is not my whole collection but some of my more unique ladybugs. So over here we have the older ones where they have the long hair and over here on the left side we have some of the newer ones. The ones with the darker hair and also cropped a little bit shorter. And of course we also have the ones where you can remove her mask. Today we have another ladybug. We have Cosmo Bug. Take a look at her. Don't you just love her outfit? Oh my goodness. So I actually got this from the UK. So the UK Amazon and not from the US because I don't think they're selling it in the US just yet. So if you go to the UK or to other Amazons in Europe such as Italy or Spain, you should be able to find Cosmo Bug. So I am super excited to have her. Especially since the color of her outfit is completely different. So here is the packaging. It says Cosmo Bug here. Over here on the right side, we have a picture of Cosmo Bug. Her eyes are purple and she is wearing what is part of her helmet. Over here, it covers her cheeks and chin. However, when it's activated, a shield does go across her face so that she can breathe in space. Here on the doll, I see that it's not included. Okay, so here on the back we have a picture of Cosmo Bug. Doesn't she look amazing? I just love how the white spots glow on her. And of course she also has her purple eyes and she is wearing her helmet without the face plate on. And over here is Tiki. So let's go ahead and take her out of the box. Alright everyone, and here's Cosmo Bug. Oh my goodness, I never thought she looked so good in pink. So here's an up close look at her face. Her eyes are blue instead of purple, and she is wearing her Cosmo Bug mask, which is pink. Over here you can see her earrings, and they do look a little bit different from her regular earrings, and they're also pink. Her lips are a very light shade of peach. Her hair is very drastically different from the regular ladybug. It is light blue. Just take a look at that. The hairstyle is the same, but the color is so much lighter. I really like this blue. And here's her outfit. It is pink. She has this little V stripe here going down her chest, and she has her ladybug dots. On her feet is a pair of pink shoes. And just like all the other ladybug dolls, she is articulated here in the shoulders, the elbows, her wrist does turn. And over here at her legs, she is articulated at the thighs, the knees, but not the ankles. She does come with one accessory, which is a pair of wings. And this wing is really, really pretty. So it's all solid one color. This is all pink and it has little black dots on it. If you look at the image here, her wings in the show is actually two different colors. So this part is actually translucent and it is a teal green color. So let's go ahead and pop this on her. All you have to do is hook it onto her shoulders and around her waist. And just like that, here's Cosmo Bug. Look at these wings. They look really great on her. It looks like she is ready to take off to the skies. So what do you think of this doll? I kind of wish she had a little bit more accessories, maybe her yo-yo or even Tiki. So I thought that would be really cool if she came with it. So now we can place her with the rest of our dolls. Let's put her on a stand and put her with the rest of our dolls. And oh my goodness, she really does stand out. So she is the only doll here in a pink outfit. Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have another Miraculous Ladybug doll to review. So if you've been to my channel recently, you probably saw the review for my latest doll, which is Cosmo Bug. She turned out so amazing and I just love her. So if you have not checked out her video yet, make sure to do so after this video. 
So today we got a brand new doll and it is for Lady Dragon. Take a look at her. She is the hero version of Faye from Reckless World Shanghai. So I'm really excited about her because we actually don't have a lot of dolls that is not Cat Noir or Ladybug. So, so far we have Bunnix, we have Rena Rouge, we have Vesperia, and we have Queen Bee. And now we have Lady Dragon. So I'm really excited about her, but at the same time, I'm also a little bit bummed out that we actually don't have any of the male characters other than Cat Noir. So hopefully Zag will make some of the male characters as dolls this year. All right, so let's take a look at Lady Dragon here. So Lady Dragon's box is really amazing. This logo is a little bit different. It says Miraculous World, and it has a little dragon over here for the Shanghai version. Over here is Lady Dragon herself. As you can see, she looks really amazing, and I just love her hair and her outfit. Over here on the bottom, we see Ladybug. Here on the back is a picture of her and some of these little commies. So these are the animals that she can actually turn into when she uses her powers. So here is today's trivia question. How many animals can she turn into and which animals are they? If you know the answer, comment down below. So here it says Lady Dragon Fei. When Marinette and Adrian travel to Shanghai and run into trouble, they meet a very resourceful girl named Fei. And everything else here are in different languages. So I think it's the same thing, but just in different language. All right, so let's go ahead and get her out of the box. start by taking a look at the checklist here. So sometimes we might be able to see what new dolls are coming, but it seems like this one has not been updated. So we already have all these dolls. And the only thing I see different are the Kwame surprises. We have Roar, Molo, Kalki, Zupu, um, I think the other one are from the first series. So it seems like there's a few more commies to collect. All right, so here is Faye. Oh my goodness, look at her. So here is an up close look at her face. She has these light green eyes. She has a really cool red mask on and peach colored lips. Her hair is pink, so she has bangs here that is swept across the side, and her hair is tied up into a high ponytail, and it is pink. Down here, it is curled and hairsprayed, so this is uh, pretty crunchy over here. Her outfit is super cute. I really love this outfit. She looks like a tiger. Um, so it's red, but not the same color red as Ladybug, so it's actually more leaning towards orange then red so this is a orangish red with gold down the middle so this is gold and not yellow as you can see it's actually quite different from Vesperia and of course we have these black markings all over her outfit I just really really love it look at this it is really really amazing and I love her collar too so here on the bottom she is wearing a pair of boots. Now these look very very sturdy. Probably a lot more sturdy than the shoes that the other dolls come in. For articulation she can turn her head goes up and down. Her shoulders here, her elbows, and here at the wrist where her hand turns. Over here at the hips, at the knees, but not at the ankle. So she is actually quite poseable. So as you can see we can do all sorts of poses for her. She could be in her little fighting stance like this, looking super cool. Lady Dragon comes with two accessories. First, we have the bracelet. So it is a black bracelet with a blue section in the middle. And we also have the prodigious. Let's put this on her. It just snaps onto her wrist like this. And we also have the super special prodigious. Look at this. This is a little medallion. So here we have the dragon in the middle and all the other animals surrounding it. 
So this is more like a medallion. It's actually pretty big and it sits like this. Oh my goodness, she looks amazing. What do you think? All right, let's put her here with Ladybug. Now they're ready to fight. All right, everyone, so here's the answer to today's trivia question. How many animals can Lady Dragon turn into? And the answer is eight. She can turn into Lady Bear, Lady Mantis, Lady Snake, Lady Monkey, Lady Eagle, Lady Horse, and Lady Tiger. And of course, number eight would be Lady Dragon. Did you get it right? If you did, comment down below. I got it. Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House, and today we have a really exciting doll to review. So finally, we got Multi Mouse, the official Multi Mouse doll from Reckless Ladybug. I'm super excited because look, back here, we got Molo, the mouse Kwame. If you've been to my channel recently, you probably saw the customs that I've been making from the Miraculous Ladybug Marionette dolls. So over here on the left, I have my version of Multi Mouse. And over here on the right side are three Unification dolls. So we have Multi Noir, Multi Bug, and Multi Fox. These were so much fun to make. If you haven't seen those videos yet, make sure to check them out after this video. So let's take a look at our doll. So this was ordered from the Amazon in UK. So it was imported because it's not available in the US just yet. So this box looks just like all the other Miraculous Ladybug boxes. They have not changed the packaging. Over here on the right side, we have Multi Mouse. And you can see a lot more details on her. She's wearing a pair of glasses and has a nose ring. She also has two chokers around her neck and also the Fox Miraculous down here underneath the Mouse Miraculous. So she is wearing a whole ton of these Miraculouses. Over here on her left hand, she's wearing a bracelet. I believe this is for Purple Tigress. On the back, we have an image of Multi Mouse in a fighting pose. Here is Molo, and you can see one more Miraculous down here. I believe this is the stopwatch from Bunnix. On the right side, it says Multi Mouse Marinette. Many, many Marinettes to the rescue. Multi Mouse let her shrink and multiply until she has all the help she needs. And we have the same thing in multiple different languages. Okay, now let's go ahead and take her out of the box. Since I do like to keep these dolls in their original packaging, I'm just going to cut the ends here with an X-Acto knife. So if you're going to do the same, make sure to be very careful and get help if you need it. This way we can put the doll back in and display her in her box. I only started to do this recently and I kind of wish that I had kept all the other boxes from the other dolls. So I'll cut three sides and we can open this up like a book. And this comes out. Let's free her from her ties. Alright, so here is Multi Mouse. Here's an up close look at her face. So she has big blue eyes, her mask is painted onto her, and she has peach colored lips. Her hairstyle is a little bit different than the other dolls. We have her bangs swept over to the side and she has two buns on top of her head. So the way it looks is like this in the back. You can see a bit of that hair here. So it's not a perfect bun. It's not tucked in perfectly, but rather just twisted around and tied, which is actually very similar to the way I did my multi mouse's hair. I had difficulties because the hair was very, very short and I actually had to glue it down. So you can see here, it's kind of a mess because there was a lot of glue and the hair was not parted down the middle. So it came out a little bit crooked, which you can also see from the front. And as you can see, because this hair is longer, you can do a better bun around her head. And that's also why when I did the Unification dolls, I did not bother to do the hair just because it didn't look very good on my original Mota Mouse doll. Here is a quick comparison of the two doll faces. I think I actually do like the this version better. I think she looks cuter. She has um, her face is just a little bit better designed, I feel. And her eyes are not as round as this one is. Um, this one also looks a little bit cross-eyed to me. And this one looks a little bit more natural. 
and I feel like I actually like the shape and size of this face better. And here's the two of them with their masks on. Moving on, here is her outfit. So her outfit is a light gray, almost silver, with light pink trim. Down here on the lower portions of her arm is black. And down here, look, Multi Mouse is actually wearing boots. So this is a surprise. I think this is the first pair of boots that we got with these dolls. Usually we get uh, small shoes that only fit on the bottom of their feet. But it's actually really cool that we have boots this time. So we can take these boots off. And her pants does go all the way down. Her pants goes all the way down and you can actually see her feet. So these are not onesies like the other dolls. Usually the Miraculous Ladybug dolls are one piece onesies where it covers the feet. And then we have the shoes. So I'm really liking these boots. And we also have a bit of the black going up here on her outfit. I always thought this black portion was the boot and so she actually has thigh high boots and uh, not part of her outfit. So I'm not really sure which way it really is. Around her waist we have her weapon which is a jump rope and this is really just a rubber uh, jump rope. So it's not a string with sticks but it's just one piece. It's wrapped around her waist as a belt and you can't untwist it. So you can't really use it as a jump rope. As far as articulations, she has basic articulation here in the shoulders, the elbows, the wrist rotates here at the hips and at the knees. So she can pretty much do anything you would want to, just like a regular doll. She comes with two accessories. Here is her miraculous, a necklace, which you can pop on her like that. And of course, the very important Mello! Oh my goodness, this is super cute! I love the way they had Molo with these big ears! And what I also like about this doll is that the legs are even. I have a lot of problems with the legs for these Marinette dolls. Almost every single one of them is uneven, so that's why they're all kind of standing in a slant. Because for almost every doll, there is about a 2-3 to three millimeter difference between the legs. And so whenever they stand, they're always a little bit crooked. And another thing I want to point out is that even though the box shows all these miraculouses on her, all these accessories, this doll actually does not have it. So we do not have the glasses, we don't have the nose rings, or the other necklaces. So I thought that was a bit of a bummer because they showed it in the picture but didn't actually include it in the doll. Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and take a look! I finally got Purple Tigress! So this is the official Miraculous Ladybug Purple Tigress doll and she's one of the latest dolls for this year. Over here on the left side we have Multi Mouse which I recently reviewed and on the right side we also have Lady Dragon from Miraculous World. So these are two new dolls that I recently reviewed and so if you haven't checked them out yet, make sure to check them out after this video. Today, of course, is all about Purple Tigress. And oh my goodness, look, we even have her Kwame here. Do you know his name? If you do, comment down below. I actually have not made a custom of her yet, so for right now, this is the only Purple Tigress doll that I have. So let's go ahead and get started. Here on the right side, we have an image of Purple Tigress, and I just love her eyes. Oh my goodness, look, it's orange and yellow, and her mask makes it look like she's wearing eyeshadow. Her lips are purple, and of course her suit is just absolutely gorgeous. Just take a look at that detail. Here in the back is an image of her and her Kwame. It says Purple Tigress, Julika. As Purple Tigress, she commands attention with a powerful punch that cannot be ignored. I just think she looks super, super cool. Let's go ahead and take her out of the box. As with these special dolls, I do try to keep the box. So what I'm going to do is carefully cut her out with an X-Acto knife. So we are going to make cuts on three sides so we can open it up kind of like a book. Alright, so 
Here she is. Let's go ahead and snip her out. All right, everyone, and here is Purple Tigress. So, oh my goodness, look at her face. So she has these big orange and yellow eyes. She's wearing her mask. This mask is part of her face, so it's attached and you can't remove it. And it's actually really, really big. Just look at that, how big it is. And her lips are purple. I really love the shade of purple. Her hair is also purple. It's a bit brighter and it has streaks of dark red highlights on it. So on the bottom here, you can see that this bottom portion is where the red is and the rest is actually purple. And her hair is tied up into a ponytail. Right now it is hairsprayed into a curl. She is wearing a headband for her ears instead of having it built in. So that is really cool that you can remove it. And here is her outfit. Oh my goodness, there's actually quite a lot of details. So here you can kind of see that lace pattern and you can see more of the lace patterns here in what looks like little uh, stripes or little cutouts. It's surrounded by gold and the rest of her outfit is a burgundy and a lavender color which is really cool. Uh, one thing that she does not have is her bracelet, or rather her miraculous. Her miraculous is a bracelet that goes around her wrist and also has little ring pieces or has four little rings that, uh, that goes around her fingers, but that is not here in this doll. Instead, we do have this colored portion here on her shirt that kind of um, makes up for it. Here is the rest of her suit and down here she is wearing a pair of boots. I really like how these new dolls have different types of shoes. So instead of the usual slippers that Ladybug has, these are actually pretty substantial. You can see that these are kind of like high top shoes. And Multi Miles here, if you remember, she actually got some knee high boots. Here is the back of her outfit. We have the stripes and it's all burgundy and around her waist she is wearing a belt so this belt is super cool it's rubber but we also have these um, three balls on the end of it so that is really cool it kind of swings around like this as for articulation like all the other dolls she's very articulated here in the shoulders over here on the elbows the wrist rotates here on the hips so that she can sit or kick and the knees and these are actually very easy to manipulate too so as you can see here we can do some yoga poses so she is quite flexible and easy to manipulate and of course we got her Kwame so this is such a fun accessory you can't really get the Kwames by themselves so you do have to get them with the dolls and this Kwame is adorable and his name is Roar. Did you get it right? If you did, comment down below. I got it. All right, everyone. So I'm so happy that we finally got Purple Tigress. And now I'm inspired to do a doll for her. So what do you think? Should I make a custom doll of her with Marinette? If you want to see that video, give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.